In news just in, COVID-19 has claimed the life of another music legend, Steve Kekana. 63-year-old Kekana died this morning. He recently tested positive for COVID-19. Kekana shot to fame in the late 1970s. The singer-songwriter had recorded more than 40 albums in his career. He was also an advocate and lecturer at the University of South Africa. For more on his passing, we are joined by his friend and fellow musician, Joe Nina. Joe, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. We've just learned of the passing of uh, Steve Kekana. What do we know so far in terms of information? Uh, firstly, I'm very, very saddened. Uh, it, it's a great loss. Uh, uh, Steve Kekana, Dr. Steve Kekana, that is to address him properly. Uh, he only got sick from last week a bit and uh, he had a pain uh, on his chest. But more than anything, when I found out this morning, the, the problem was his sugar problem. I mean, he had sugar diabetes. And uh, because of that, they, they only admitted him yesterday. And by 10 this morning, he passed on. Right. Um, I mean, I, this is a difficult time for, you know, family and friends. Have you managed to reach out to any of the family members? How are they coping at this stage? It is very, very difficult indeed. Uh, I was called this thing first thing in the morning because, like I said, uh, we just recorded a song with Steve uh, last week on Tuesday, and he left for the VTL on Friday. Uh, we went to my doctor, we checked him out, and he only discovered that he's, he had a problem with his sugar levels, which I think was the problem when he went and got to the VTL in, in, in Kulukwane, that is. And uh, this morning, obviously, he, he, when he passed on, we are all devastated. We are all in pain. It's a sudden, sudden death. And uh, uh, it's a great loss. Uh, it's very, very painful. Tell us more about the caliber of musician uh, Dr. Kekana was. Uh, Steve was definitely a great, 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 great musician. Uh, more than anything, a beautiful singer, uh, a beautiful soul, uh, a go-getter. Um, I, I address him as a person with a different ability, not a person that is disabled, because uh, Dr. Steve started as a, as a musician, he studied to be a lawyer, he studied to be an advocate, and then he studied to be a doctor when he did his uh, psychology. And, and, and I, it's a great loss when I was there, I was with him, and today, is like yesterday, he was with me, today he's gone, so it's devastating, we are all sad, and I want him to be remembered, and, and, and it's said that we only think of him now when he's been there still with us. Hence, I always say, let's celebrate each other while we're still alive. Let's not celebrate each other only when we are late. Right. So in terms of, uh, you know, your fondest memories and your experiences uh, of him, what do you think Dr. Kegana will be remembered the most for? Uh, his intelligence, um, his sense of humor. Uh, more than anything, <laughs> his different way of dancing um, and his beautiful, beautiful melodic voice more than anything. Right. So do you remember the first time uh, you met Dr. Kekana? Oh, yes. <laughs> when, when, when I was five years old, Dr. Steve Kekana came to visit my father, uh, who had a band here in Guatemala, and they came to perform in a hall in Guatemala Hall. And uh, ever since I was five years old, I knew Prestige Kekana as a friend to my father. When my father passed on in 2001 and 2002, I started working with Prestige Full Force, and he was a father figure to me. And uh, it's, it's just uh, one amazing soul that I, I don't think it will be easy uh, for us to forget about. Right. Dr. Kekana made his music during the time where South Africa was going through all kinds of, uh, you know, turbulent situations. We were in the height of apartheid. When you look back at some of the fondest stories that he would tell you, um, is there one story that comes to mind that uh, you'll always remember him, um, you know, telling and engaging with you with such passion? Uh, there's lots, there's lots. I, I mean, uh, there was a time when uh, myself and Dr. Steve Kekana and the late uh, Branana Coyote, uh, they sang together the song, Take Your Love and Keep It, and we did a remix of that song. So they would tell me a story of themselves. In those days, they used to travel on the road. And, and, and the fun part of it was that uh, 
Plus, Steve wanted to tell the driver that the robot was red. And, <laughs> and if we remember very well, Plus, Steve was, was, was blind. And, and, and Pranana Koet was laughing all the way to say that robot was green. And Plus, Steve was forcing matters that it was red. <laughs> and and, and, and all the sense of humor, like I said, he was just amazing. And yes, there's times when he worked with uh, PJ Powers uh, at the times of the apartheid. And, I will remember those moments as well because I think that's the time and the type of music that made the person of who I am today as a musician, as Joe Nina. Joe, thank you so much for your time and uh, condolences again to yourself and the family.